Hi, welcome to Movie Digest. In this video I'm going to explain, 2021 crime comedy movie, titled Cruella. Spoilers ahead. In the 1960s, a young girl named Estella was born with her hair half black and half white. She is a creative child and has a talent for fashion, but with a villainous personality. Her mother Catherine nicknames her Cruella because of her behavior. Catherine brings Estella to a private school where she promises to behave. She tries to make friends with other children, but they mock her because of her hair and she befriends a girl named Anita, along with a dog she finds in the trash and names Buddy. She frequently gets into a fight with some bullies, after causing a lot of misconduct throughout her time at the school, they expelled Estella. Catherine decides to move to London, where Estella could get a better education to follow her fashion dreams. She stops at a Hellman Hall to meet her employer to ask for a financial help, who is hosting a winter ball. Catherine instructs her to stay in the car, and gives Estella her necklace. Since Estella got intrigued by the dresses people wearing around, and she couldn't resist stepping out of the car along with Buddy. They sneak into the mansion, and Estella gets amazed by all the gowns and dresses at the ball. Unfortunately, Buddy gets out and Estella chases after him. She got caught by a valet named John, Estella escapes him, but attracts the attention of the host's three ferocious Dalmatians. Estella takes Buddy and runs outside, meanwhile Catherine is talking to her employer, Baroness von Hellman, for some help to stand on their feet. Suddenly the Dalmatians jump on Catherine hard enough, to push her off the cliffside balcony to her death, which Estella witnesses. The guests come outside to see what happened, and the Baroness lies to them and claims that Catherine was threatening her for money. Estella is in grief and blames herself for her mom's death. As the dogs search for her, Estella runs away with Buddy and jumps into a garbage truck, while the dogs found her necklace. Estella makes it to Regent's Park in London, she regrets for going inside the mansion. She then realizes the necklace given by her mom is missing, and falls asleep by the fountain. Next morning she was found by two thieves and brothers, Horace and Jasper, along with their dog, Wink. They are trying to take water from the fountain, and Jasper learns Estella doesn't have a family. An officer arrives to catch them, the brothers run away and Estella follows them to their hideout. Jasper tells Horace that they should keep her around, as she looks innocent and would be a distraction when they rob. Estella says she wants to be a fashion designer, not a thief. Since she got no options, she joins them and dyes her hair. Ten years later, Estella continues to pull off crimes with Horace and Jasper for a living, Buddy and Wink also help them in the robberies. Estella didn't lose her talent for fashion, and refines her skills by designing their disguises. On Estella's birthday, the brothers surprise her with a job at the Liberty Department store downtown, since Jasper had noticed her always staring at the place. She is very grateful to them, and starts working at Liberty as a janitor for a horrible boss named Gerald. He treats her badly, and never gives a chance to present her ideas or to use her talent. One day Horace and Jasper bring her lunch and Horace think they can rob the place, but Estella wants to work honestly. While throwing the trash, one bag rips open and falls all over her. Gerald noticed that and instructs her to clean his office overnight. She steals a liquor bottle from his office that night and goes to the window display, which Estella finds ugly. She wakes up hungover by the window with Horace, Jasper, and other people seeing the display which Estella redecorates more to her style. Gerald sees and takes her inside in order to fire her, until he is informed that the Baroness, who owns the store is arriving. Estella hides with Horace and Jasper, who rob Gerald's wallet and nix some goods. The Baroness asks who did the window display, which she actually likes. Gerald says that Estella is the culprit and is being fired, but she instead tells her assistant Jeffrey to give Estella her business card. Estella runs off with Horace and Jasper in celebration of her new job. She begins to work at the Baroness fashion house, coming up with dress ideas and designs. She quickly learns that the Baroness is a cold and arrogant woman, who only criticizes the work of her employees. She cuts the sleeves of Estella's design using a razor, and doesn't care when she accidentally nicks Estella's hand. That evening, she stops by a shop operated by a man named Artie, who quickly befriends Estella since she likes his fashion sense. She also notices a red dress made by the Baroness in the window. After working for few days, Estella proves to the Baroness that she truly has a talent for fashion. One day, Estella notices that Baroness is wearing her mother's necklace. The Baroness claims it is a family heirloom, and tells Estella that a former employee once tried to rob it and then fell off a cliff. She doesn't show any remorse for her death, and Estella feels pure hatred for the Baroness. Estella shares the news with Horace and Jasper. She tells them that she wants to steal that necklace during the black and white ball, as the Baroness is set to host that event. Estella memorizes the Baroness's schedule and how the guards work and move around to plan for the heist. She knows that she will be recognized if she tries to attend, 
so creates an alter ego for herself named Cruella, and enters the event by taking off her wig and holding to her natural hair. Horace enters the building under the guise of pest control, using Wink as a fake rat, while Jasper gets to the underground and manipulates the security cameras. Estella is wearing the Baroness's dress she saw in Artie's shop. She stuns everyone in attendance, including the typically unimpressed Baroness. Anita, who is a journalist and recognizes Estella from her hair. Estella subdues the Baroness's guards before having a seat with the Baroness. When Horace approaches the safe, he finds it empty. Estella sees that the Baroness is wearing it, and Horace gets caught by the guards. Just as the Baroness is about to get Cruella arrested for trespassing, Jasper sets off some rats into the party, causing a distraction, that allows Estella to snatch the necklace off the Baroness and give it to Buddy. Unfortunately, the Baroness's Dalmatians come out, pushes Buddy away and one of them swallows the necklace. Estella sees that the Baroness is using a whistle to control the dogs, and realizes she deliberately killed her mother by calling the dogs upon her. As their truck is being towed, Estella steals a car to get away with the Horus, Jasper and their dogs. Estella stops and cries over the fact that her boss murdered her mother. The next morning, Estella is still being Cruella, and orders Horace and Jasper to steal the Baroness's dogs to get the necklace. Estella then goes to Anita's workplace as Cruella, and asks her to get the word out about her escapades. Meanwhile, Horace and Jasper find the Dalmatians as they are being given baths, and they use Wink as bait to get them out and take them away in a van. Estella goes to Artie and seeks his help to make their label, for which he agrees. He gets him to their place, where Horace and Jasper trying hard to handle the Dalmatians, but Estella just asks them about the necklace and treats them badly. Cruella soon crashes many more events held by the Baroness, and Anita covering it in the paper, Cruella becomes a fashion sensation, completely overshadowing the Baroness. These events discomfort Baroness, and end up firing her lawyer Roger, for failing to have Cruella arrested. She then goes to Anita's office to get the details of Cruella, but she didn't give any and Baroness warns her she will pay for that. Estella comes with a new design for an upcoming spring collection presentation, and orders a special material and creates the dress. Baroness is impressed by that signature piece, and plans to take credit for it. That night, Jasper and Horace, sneak into the house of Baroness. They create a scene to make it appear like Cruella tried to break in, leading the Baroness to have her dresses stored inside a top secret vault. Back at home, the Dalmatians became the part of their family and obeys Estella, and her arrogant behavior increasingly discomforts Jasper. The Baroness holds her spring collection show, but when they open the vault, to find that thousands of moths have hatched from the very beads, having torn through almost all the dresses. Since Estella made that dress using special cocoons, Baroness realizes that she is Cruella. Outside, Horace, and Jasper, along with Artie, put on an actual show, where Artie sings and Cruella emerges with a dress made of Dalmatian fur, leading the Baroness to think that Cruella killed her dogs. When Estella returns home, she finds Horace and Jasper tied up to a chair, Estella says it's between them and asks her to let Horace and Jasper go. But her men grab Estella and tie her to a chair, and the Baroness plans to have Horace and Jasper framed for killing Cruella in a fire. Estella claims that she killed her mother, but she has killed many others doesn't know who Estella is talking about, until she reminds her about the cliff. She leaves Estella, Buddy and Wink to burn, she struggle hard to free herself along with Buddy's help, but no avail. As Estella sees to pass out, a mysterious man coming towards her to get her. The place burns down, and word spreads that Cruella has died. Estella wakes up in John's house, along with Buddy and Wink. He brings her Catherine's necklace and lets her know that it's been thoroughly bleached, which to Estella's surprise it contains a key, to a box having Estella's birth records. John then reveals that the Baroness is Estella's true biological mother. Although the Baron wanted children, the Baroness thought being a mother would hinder her success. She ordered John to kill the baby after birth, but he instead gave her to Catherine, one of the Baroness's maids, who raised Estella in secret. Estella is in disbelief and says Baroness cannot be her mother, and runs away by stealing a motorcycle from a delivery boy. She rides back to Regent's Park, where she uses the space to talk to her mother, Catherine. She is in disbelief at Catherine not being her mother, but she still viewed her as such. Estella now embraces her new identity as Cruella, who is born brilliant and mad. Estella gets a trash truck and bus through the front of the police station, then sets Wink inside along with a key to Horace and Jasper's cell. They break out, but they are still mad at Estella for how she treated them. After she tells them about the Baroness being her birth mother, they go back to John's home, where she apologizes to Horace and Jasper, and calls them her family. They then come up with a final plan to bring down the Baroness, and Estella later goes to Artie for help as well. As the Baroness is hosting a charity event, and they took the guest list with the help of John. 
Estella and Artie designed the dresses and delivered to the guests in the name of Baroness, to wear it in the memory of Cruella. Horace comes back with the Baroness's Panther de Ville car, and Estella likes the sound of it. At the event, Jasper gets a radio from John and tells the security, that Baroness is calling everyone to library and Horace locks them from outside. The guests are wearing wigs to honor Cruella. Estella grabs a pin and pokes the Baroness, distracting her long enough to grab her dog whistle. Estella uses it to bring Baroness outside by the Dalmatians. Baroness sees her outside by the cliff, and loses the dogs to kill her, but Estella gets the Dalmatians to obey her. Meanwhile Artie and John, brings the guests outside by telling Baroness is expecting them. Estella reveals to the Baroness that she is her daughter. The Baroness once again takes credit for Estella's talent and wants her to take over the business. She apologizes to Estella and pretends like as if to hug her, but pushes Estella over the edge. Everyone witnessed this, and the police have just arrived, and the Baroness cannot cover it up. Luckily, Estella prepared for this, and she uses a parachute to stop her fall. As the Baroness is being arrested, Cruella arrives, once again surprising everyone, revealing that Estella left her property to Cruella, knowing that Baroness would try to kill her, which now leaves her with her mother's fortune. Cruella holds a funeral for Estella, then takes Horace and Jasper plus Buddy, Wink, and the newly adopted Dalmatians back to the estate. Together with John and Artie as part of the team, Cruella tells the brothers that she has some big plans. Cruella leaves a Dalmatian puppy named Pongo at Roger's home, and another named Perdita at Anita's home. Roger, who has now become a songwriter, writes Cruella's iconic theme song. That's how the movie ends. For more content, please subscribe.